and, and uh, it is definitely a covenant, covenant relationship. Um, we have such the same heart, the same mind, the same focus, the same vision, and um, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. People that are surrendered to God, coming together for a specific purpose, and that's to advance his kingdom, to see souls saved, see, see lives change, um, to see the kingdom of God advance um, throughout the earth. And so, again, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much um, for standing with us and praying with and for us. Um, during this time and season um, as you all have been for the past almost two years as we've been doing these broadcasts and um, sharing with you our life um, whether it's um, just our personal life or even our ministry um, thank you guys so much for allowing us to be a part of your life as well as you a part of our lives and um, I just fell <laughs> off in the cook yeah he just, he just rolled on in you know he yes. rolled in so <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about what God is doing. Yep, that's me. I'm just following in. Um, did you see that? Oh, I saw. We saw it. We saw it. Yep. So, uh, but anyway, you know, it's really been a really great time. Um, you know, I was, uh, one, the thought that I had, um, yes, we are in Charlotte. Yes, we are. Uh, one of the things that um, I was talking about uh, was... The fact that in this season, everything that you do is going to prosper. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, you know, that, that was kind of really even prophetic for us and for us as a ministry. Because one of the things that I, I looked at was, um, is that sometimes you, uh, let me block somebody, answering wonderful questions. So at any rate, uh, you know, sometimes you try to do something in one season and it's not the season of God for you to be able to do that. Mm. And there are, there are some things that we've tried as a ministry to do, and God told us uh, when we first started, I've got the diagram and the blueprints from when we st first started the ministry, mm -hmm. things that God said that he was gonna do. Uh, and then, uh, somebody said they sent an Aquaman to rescue us from the hurricane. Henry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that was hilarious. But, uh, you know, and so in this season, I'm learning that God is causing things to really prosper. Mm -hmm. He's really causing things to go forward. Yes. And, uh, and I began to look at the text of scripture and I began to look at a couple of key scriptures and some scriptures that are really, really, really blessed me. And I thought that they would bless you all as well. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you for, for all of you that, that support us. Thank you for those that sold into uh, this, you know, um, oh wow, bless your heart. Um, be, you know, being able to meet you guys and, and see many of you in different places around the world has just been amazing. Yes. And so we really appreciate you. I want to I want to pull a couple of texts. I'm going to look at uh, Psalms chapter 1. And I'm also going to look at Joshua chapter 1. Because one of the things that I've been looking at is how God in this season is causing everything you put your hand to and everything that you uh, put your mind to to mm -hmm. prosper. And so I really believe that for many of you, it's, it's getting ready to be a season of, of extreme increase, extreme breakthrough, uh, extreme uh, moving forward, momentum, acceleration. And, uh, and so I want to I wanna give you some scripture for that. And I want to I speak to you. I want them to speak to you. I want you to be able to hear uh, their heart as well, because I really believe, again, that this is a, an amazing season of acceleration, of increase. And again, everything you put your hand to is going to prosper in this season. Everything that you put, even everything that you speak out of your mouth is going to begin to come to pass. Yes. Every thought of your mind is getting ready to be established. And so you, yeah. you, you've got to think on the things that God has for you. Yes. One of the things that the enemy is going to try to get you to do in this season is look at your past failures, look at your past mistakes, look at some of the things that did not go well and some of the things uh, that did not happen that you were believing God for in order to cause you to fear. Mm -hmm. And so in this season, we're going to have extreme faith. We're going to have extreme belief in God. We're going to have a faith that's going to be contagious so we can really move into the seasons and into the things that God has for us. But yes. I'm decreeing today, we're decreeing today as a family uh, that, that everything that you put your hands to in this season is going to prosper. We just moved into uh, basically a new year uh, according to the Hebraic calendar. And I'm not, I don't get tapped into a lot of the times and seasons of, of you know, of some of the things, but I do believe uh, that there are some things that really, really do uh, that there is a significance. Yes, that's where that there is some significance to it. Mm -hmm. And so when we moved into the ninth month. Yesterday we planted the church the ninth month, the ninth day. Uh, and so I really believe that God is really literally shifting us into some new places, into some new things. And we're going to believe God and we're going to trust God 
uh, that this for you is going to be a season that everything that you put your hand to, mm -hmm. everything that your mind begins to think about, everything that comes out of your mouth, that you begin to receive the manifestation of those things, that it's a season where you're going to have great, great momentum, great acceleration, and that you are going to prosper in the things that you do. Amen? And so when I begin to look at the text, uh, you know, of course, Israel is in a place of transition. Uh, Joshua chapter 1, and I'll probably read a few verses of scripture, and then again, I'm going to let them pray and let them prophesy to you. He said, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise and go over this Jordan down and all this people unto the land which I give to you, even to the children of Israel. And every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness in this Lebanon, even into the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. And shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you, and I will not fail thee, nor will I forsake you. Listen to what the scripture says. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shall I divide an inheritance, the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do, according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest observe, or that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. And this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. And so you, you've got to know that this is the season, again, as Apostle Eckhart has been talking about, Apostle John has been talking about, uh, about really, really possessing your good land, moving into the place that God has for you. And we really believe that this is that season for the believers. Many of you have struggled, you've been frustrated, uh, you've been in wilderness journeys, you've been in places where uh, you know, you've had to fight, you've had to struggle, uh, you, you know, you've gone through well, you know, what seems like just pure hell in your life, and it seems like everything that could come, come against you and come at you has come at you, but we're declaring that this is that season for you uh, of extreme success, extreme increase, extreme breakthrough, and that God himself is literally, literally causing things that were out of alignment in your life to come into alignment. He's causing things that, uh, that, that had been uh, a struggle for you to now be struggle free. He's causing you to move into a place, even a great acceleration, where you had been stagnant. That now he's getting ready. He's causing your acceleration process to come. Everything that's been stuck is coming unstuck. Everything uh, that was moving slower than you had anticipated is now beginning to move in a way that it has not moved before. So you gotta, um, you know, you gotta trust God. You gotta believe God. You've gotta stand on His promises. You gotta know that God is faithful. That God will not fail. He has not failed. He cannot fail. It's illegal and it's impossible for Him to fail. And so you gotta put your faith in God to another another level and another dimension. And I want you to dream harder, dream stronger, dream more than you've ever dreamed before. Know that the God that you serve is a faithful God. And in this season, He is bringing to pass every prophetic promise and everything He that you've been believing in Him for. And even in past seasons, things that did not come to pass. In this season, they are coming to pass. That's our declaration. We're standing on it. We're going to believe in it. We're going to trust God for it, and we won't take it back. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. I, I certainly believe that even this morning as God, um, as God began to give me a theme for our time of intercession, and, and so he had me to declare that we are to release the hand of God. And so the hand of God is going to begin to cause things to, um, to prosper for you. It's going to cause you to arise. It's going to lead you. The hand of God is going to lead you. And at the same time, the right hand of God, the mighty hand of God, is going to destroy every enemy that has come against your life, your purpose, your dreams, your visions that God gave to you. Everything that came against your life, whether it was sickness or or disease, whether it was um, jealousy, or envy, strife, whatever that was, glory to God, whether it was slander, whether it was lies, whatever that is, the right hand of God is going to bring you out, but it's also going to destroy every one of your enemies, everything that has tried to hold you in bondage and keep you back from possessing your promise and what God had called you to do and anointed you for in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, glory to
to God. We release the hand of God. And so in every situation, glory to God, because we got to get to a point where we take our hands out of it, because when we have our hands in it, then that means God can't work. He can't move. He can't manifest his word. And so we got to take our hands out of it so that we can, so God can release his mighty hand, his right hand of strength, his right hand of power, his right hand of prosperity and wealth. Hallelujah. God is releasing his, his hand into your life in this season. Amen. Apostle, what do you think? You know, you said something. Uh, you said that as they begin to walk towards the promise that you that God promised that they was going to give them good success. That means everything that, as you were saying earlier, everything that they put their hand upon, God was going to prosper it. Mm -hmm. Even as they began to walk towards the land of promise, their enemies came up against them, and God made sure that they uh, they were able to have good success, even defeating their enemies. And mm -hmm. God said, and even the people that, as they begin to occupy the land, if there were people there that that there was already there in the land, but God had already promised it. And at the moment that he spoke it, at the moment he said it, it already, we know that it already has to come to pass because the Bible talks about how mm -hmm. when the word says that so shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth, it must accomplish the thing that I sent it to do. Mm -hmm. And so I, I declare and decree in this season that God, all of the promises that God has spoken to you all, many of you have been waiting for the promises. Many of mm -hmm. you have been tarrying. It seems like a long time, but as, as the man of God said earlier, I declare and decree it so divine acceleration. Mm -hmm. The thing that took 10 years shall take two, two days. The thing that took two days shall take two seconds. I make this declaration in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to walk towards the land of promise. Continue to defend Defeat the enemies and watch them fall at your very side. Oh, glory to your name. And I just thank God even for the things that he's doing in this season because the thing that he promised, it must, it shall, and it will come to pass. Amen? Amen. You know, I was I walked to the front door, and on the front door of their home, they have a, um, a pillow. And this pillow says, trust in the Lord forever, Isaiah uh, 26 and 4. And so when I looked at that and thought about it, I really believe that at, that there was another level of trust that we're getting ready to have yes. uh, God uh, for God and, uh, and 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 just I'm just believing. It. I, I I don't know why I woke up this morning. I think it was either this morning or yesterday morning. Matter of fact, we we did the launch here in, in Charlotte on yesterday Sunday, and I didn't sleep all night Saturday night. I stayed up literally all night. I didn't go to sleep between Saturday and Sunday, uh, and I was just up and God was just dealing with me and just just ministering to me. And that was the word that he gave me, which was that uh, that everything that our hands touch in this season, everything our minds uh, can right. conceive, yes. uh, it's, it's going to come to pass. And then I began to look back at the scripture that I read you. And one of the things he said, he said, be strong and of good courage for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. And so what happens is there were things in their promises even that your, that, your, that your ancestors were supposed to get, but they didn't get. Oh and God. so in this season, you're going to receive the manifestation. And I was talking to somebody yesterday, and they were talking about an inheritance that had, that was, that, that had been laid up that was in the process of being released. Oh and so this inheritance was so big, and I'm like, my God, that's a big inheritance. But the Lord said the reason why it's so big is because it's the inheritance that actually belonged to other generations. And wow. the reason why it's so big is because it snowballed into this generation because you're receiving the manifestation yes. of things of other generations that they should have received and should have had, yes. but they did not walk into. And oh, so yeah. our declaration is that you're going you're gonna to be like Joshua. You're going to receive the manifestation of the things that you've been believing God for, the things that you've been trusting God for, the things that you heard your, your, you know, your grandparents talk about, yes. uh, the things you heard your parents talk about. About, the things that you heard them believing for, trusting for, uh, you know, whether it be the land inheritance, come on, and this and and this was a land inheritance, even as a positive, we're talking about the good land, there was, a, there was a land inheritance, so you get ready to receive the manifestation of the things that had been held up, things that had been blocked, things, and, and then I got this prophetic word, I got a prophetic word the other day, uh, that there were some things that belonged to us, some things that God was releasing to us, uh, but that they had, there had been almost some, um, you, you know, there had been some foul play, there had been some politics, there had been oh some, uh, some other things that had gotten in the way of the promise of God being released. 
But it said in this season, God was removing all the blockages. He was removing all of the obstacles. Yes. He was removing all yes. of the politics. He was moving everything yes. that was in the land. And this is this is what God's doing. He's getting ready to drive your enemies out of the land that belongs to you. Wow. People who have not released the things that yes. have belonged to you and yes, that you've been Lord. trusting God for, things Jesus. that you've been believing God for, even Hallelujah. the seasons past and you've been trusting God and things have not come to pass and you sat and you and you know and even the prophetic words, you know, you've had to jump through some hurdles. You know, you've had to you know, um, try to, you know, you, it was like an approval process and every time you turned around you would meet the requirement and then when you meet the requirement they would they would they would bring the requirement up again but I'm telling you that yes. they're, they're not going to be able to continue to do you like that they're going to have to release what belongs to you even yes. as it was with the children Jesus. of Israel when they came out of Hallelujah. Egypt Pharaoh began to change the thing and change the thing and change the thing but God has an appointed day he has a set time a set yes. day when these things amen are coming uh, are, are literally coming out then I then I thought about another text of scripture uh, you know, we were talking about Jacob and how Jacob came out. Uh, Jacob came out of Laban's territory and Laban's land. And so he came out of there and the re and, and listen, everything had been held up. Everything that had been held up with Rachel, everything that had been held up with Leah. He changed his ways. He said he changed his ways ten times. Yes. Come on. And it was 20 years. He, were, he worked seven years for uh, for um, for Leah, which he didn't want. Then he, he worked seven years for Rachel. Then after he worked those 14 years, then it was another six years that he had to work for his wages. And during that time, his wages were changed 10 times, but you got to know that it's your time of exodus. It's your time of coming out. And it's yes. not only your time of coming out, but it's your time of entering in. Mm -hmm. It's your time of entering into your good land, your promised land, into the place, listen, that, that, that you've always believed God for. you dreamed about it. you visualized it. You, you know, you've seen it in, in your mind. You, you've spoken about Hallelujah. it. You've prophesied about it. But yes. in this season now, you're getting ready to possess it. You're getting ready to possess it. Everything you put your hand to, everything that you put your, everywhere the sole of your foot tread, Everything that your eyes can perceive, even for you, Abraham. You know you, you uh, you've seen it. You, you know you've seen the um, the uh, the sands of the sea. You've seen the stars in the sky, yes, and you've Lord. got the prophetic word, and you've been believing God for 25 years for it. But I'm telling you, everything that God said is getting ready to come to pass for you. God is getting ready to bring it to pass, and everything is getting ready to happen. You got to stand on that. You got to trust that. You got to believe it. You got to know that God is faithful. Amen. You you need to go ahead and just be, uh, begin to believe God for it now. Trust Him for it. Don't let what you see change your thought process Jesus. don't let the enemy change your thought process don't let him change your mind don't let him change your uh, uh your your belief in god no trust in the lord always know that god is faithful i don't care what it looks like i don't what it can i don't care what it seems like god is literally turning your situation around he is literally uh releasing things to you to belong yes. to you he is literally commanding the earth to cough up everything that belongs Come to you on. he's Hallelujah. literally Come causing the angels yes. to, to literally bring you the things that that, uh, that that belong to you things that are already yours things that have been stolen from you, things that have been taken from you. Some of you, it's not just possessions, but it's your peace. Come on. It's, it's, your, it's, your, it's, your, uh, it's your state of mind that, yes. you, know, that you, you wrestle with. Come on. You, you, uh, you battle with depression. You battle with anger. You battle with lust. You battle with fear. You battle with all these things. And it seems as if though the enemy has really attacked you in this last season. But I'm telling you everything that the enemy has attacked you with, he's getting ready to have to pay you. Everything that's been stolen from you is getting ready to have to be returned. And everything that's been held up and, and, and has been denied you is getting ready to uh, get ready to be released so you can walk into the fullness of what belongs to you. Amen. You got to yes. know that the God that you serve yes. is not, he's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. He's not unrighteous to forget all the seeds that you've sown. Come on. Hallelujah. You've got seed in the ground yes. and it's harvest time. I was yes, looking Lord. at this thing the other day and uh, I was looking at how uh, one of the, uh, I can't remember this brother, uh, Les Brown was talking about this Chinese uh, bamboo tree and he said that this tree, he said that it literally took it five years. He said, and I was watching this video and he said he said that the man would go out and he would water the uh, you know the bamboo uh, tree uh, seed. He said, but it takes it five years to even sprout up. But then in nine months after it sprout up, it it it, it goes into a, almost a full grown position. Come on, he said God, God's getting ready to accelerate your situation. You've yes. been going out and watering. Come on, you've been watering your seed. You've been watering the thing that you plant. You've been watering the thing that you've been Jesus. believing God for. And some people have even laughed at you and said, the thing you believe in God for is too big. It's never going to come to pass. It's Nothing is happening. Come on. But they laughed at, they, they, uh, uh, they laughed at Noah when he was building the ark. 
And all of a sudden, the thing that he was believed that God had told him began to manifest. Yes. So if you keep building, if you keep doing the thing that God Jesus. told you to do, come on. If you yes. keep standing on the promises of God, come on. It, it may there will be no rain in the sky, but if God says it's gonna rain, it's I gonna promise rain. you it's gonna rain. Hallelujah. If God told you you were gonna if you were gonna you were gonna build a, a multiple ministries and you're gonna have ministry, multiple locations, I'm telling you, everything God said is gonna come to pass. Is gonna come to pass. Yes. If God says you're gonna have multi-million dollar businesses, yes. guess what? It's coming to pass. Come on. If God said that you're gonna that you're gonna produce children, if He said you're gonna produce a family, whatever it is that God said that you're gonna do, you're gonna have it. It's gonna Jesus. manifest. Nothing can hold it up. You just gotta believe and trust God for it and not give up. And so the man kept watering. He kept watering, and people were standing there looking at him like, "Man, what are you? You just you pouring ground. the water, and you pouring water on the ground? I mean, are you mad? Are you have you gone crazy? Have you lost your mind?" But that brother kept on watering. The, he kept on watering because he knew that he had a seed in the ground that yes. he needed to water. And so, as a result, all of a sudden, one day, five years later, it wasn't oh the God. first year, it wasn't the second year, it wasn't the third year, wow. it wasn't the fourth year, it wasn't the fifth. But in, but in the fifth year, come yes, on, yes, in the yes, fifth yes. year, all yes. of a sudden, the thing that he was believing God for began to manifest that was the same with us listen we planted we planted a new church on the ninth year in the ninth year of our ministry on the ninth day of the ninth month oh, come on in the year 2018 I'm like my god I'm like god <laughs> yes. this is this is prophetic and so it <laughs> took us nine years come yeah. on it took us nine years to get to this place it took us nine years to get here but after nine years God's word manifested yes. and then when we when we relaunched we didn't relaunch with one we relaunched with 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 three almost four and so I know that the word of God if he did it for us he's going to do it for you absolutely Absolutely. He's going to do it for you. I promise he will. I promise you. I promise you with everything inside of me. And let me tell you something else. Uh, for some of you that have been, uh, that have gone through challenges in, uh, in relationship and gone through challenges in storms uh, and different things in your life, I promise you that the God that we serve is literally, literally, literally getting ready to bring you faithful people into your life yes. who have no alternative and no ulterior motive but to love you, treat you right, stand with you, uh, be there with you. He's God's getting, God said, I'm getting ready to make up for all of the heartache. I'm getting ready My to God. make up for all the heartburn. I'm getting ready to make up for all the disappointments. I'm getting ready to make up for all the trials and the storms you went through My that God. literally almost Jesus. made you want to give up and quit, that made you want to throw My in God. the towel, that made you want to give up on your assignment. But God said, I'm bringing people into your life who will stand with you and who will support you and who will help you and lift up your arms. I'm telling you, you it's, it's the season. And then and then for some other people, it's a time of the passing of the God. You've held up everybody else's arms. You've blessed everybody else. You've helped everybody else. You've stood with everybody else. But God said, it's this in this season, Joshua, it's time for the mantle to pass to you and for you to be able to fully walk Jesus. in the assignment and the purpose that you have for your life. Yes. And so for many of you, you, it just depends on where you're at. Some of you, you're getting ready to get help. Some of you, you're getting ready to be the help. Come on. But I'm yes. telling you, either way, you're getting ready to move into a place that you've been believing God for, trusting God for. Listen, you looked over and you could see the promised land afar off, but now you're getting ready to feel it. You're getting ready to reach your hand down and feel the sand in your hand. Come on. You're getting ready to reach up on the tree and, 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 and see the stuff that they prophesied about. You're going to Joshua. And listen, this wasn't the first time that Joshua had seen the promised land. Come on. He was with the spies. Come on. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody else had died off. And so he said, you know, and so there were those who said, you'll never see it again. You'll never see your promised land. You'll never walk oh into the inheritance that God has for you. And he watched everybody else die. And I don't, I, I could even imagine in his mind, did he go through the mental thought, oh am, am I going to die too before I oh see my, my promise? Yes. Am I going to die before I see the manifestation of the things that God has for me? He had already seen it. He had already seen what it was like. And then yes. he had he'd been around all these negative people who could not believe it, but God is even changing your season. He's changing and the people that, that are around you. He's, he's letting you move out of the area and the arena of people who cannot believe God for what God said. And wow. he's getting ready to bring you into a My company God. of people where people can believe God with you and stand stand for God with you and trust God. Listen, Joshua, you won't die until you see your promise. Come on. Yes. You, you, if nothing's going to happen, you cannot die. You can't quit. You can't throw in the towel. There's not an enemy that can kill you. There is Jesus. nobody that can destroy you. Glory there is not a war that you're going to get into. Joshua had to fight with the Amalekites. The Bible said 
that they were up on the thing and, and Moses was up on the hill and Aaron and Hur were holding up his arms and he's down there fighting with the Amalekites. And as he was fighting with them, he said when Moses' arms went down, the, you know, the Amalekites began to win. When, when Moses' arms went up, then, then, then Joshua began to win. Come on, the Israelite army. But I'm telling you, you won't die in this fight. You won't die anywhere. You yes. won't die in the, in the desert. You won't die in the wilderness. wilderness. You're getting ready to come forth, Joshua, and you're going to receive the manifestation of every prophetic promise Jesus. that has ever been prophesied. And not only that, you, your inheritance is getting ready to be so big because you're going to also walk into the inheritance of all the stuff that everybody else was supposed to get but they didn't get. I'm My telling God. you, there's a changing of the God and there's a release of the manifestation of the yes, promises God. of God yes. that are coming to you and the inheritance of God that is coming to your life. I decree it. I prophesy it. I stand on it. I'm believing God for it. The, the Bible says if two of us shall touch and agree concerning the things yes. that we ask, yes. we'll yes. have Hallelujah. the manifestation of the things we're believing yes. God for. And so we stand here we as stand a threefold together. cord. Amen. Yes. We're believing God. We're yes, trusting Lord. God. Hallelujah. We're on one accord. We bind doubt. We rebuke fear. Jesus. We Hallelujah. command uh, the release of everything that belongs to you. Everything the enemy has held hostage even for 40 years, even for, even for, even for as long, I'm telling you, I don't care how long it's been. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how long you've been in that situation. You're coming out and you're going in. Come on. You're going, you're, uh, you're coming out of the, the old system, out of the old, uh, out, of, uh, out of the wilderness, out of the, all the places that the enemy has had you hostage and he's getting ready to release you into your new season, into your new place. I'm telling you, you, if I were you, wherever you are, I would just stand up and begin to walk into my new place, begin yes, to walk in. Yes. Michelle McLean talks about into my wealthy place. Come yes. on, just stand up and begin to take some prophetic steps. Yes. Come on, begin to, uh, you, you know, I, you, listen, if you got to go out the door <laughs> to your house, come on, get up, go yeah. outside, walk, close the door, close the door to your old Black season and, and, and open the door to your new season come and walk on. back into yes, it. Come on, come and on. believe yes. God and trust God that this is a new season for you. Come on, you got to believe and listen, let me tell you something else. It's going to happen suddenly. I just saw that word again. God's going to do it and it's going to happen suddenly. <laughs> Your sudden yeah. breakthrough Hallelujah. is here. Your sudden breakthrough is now. You've got to believe God and trust God and know that God is faithful. He cannot lie. He will not lie. Come yes. on. Come on. He, as somebody said, you're going to arrive at the place that you've been thinking of. Yes, you've been dreaming of it. You've been seeing the vision. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something else. The other night, we were in a, uh, we, we had a dream. Thank you, Jesus. We had a dream. And my wife and I dreamed at the same time. And same so thing. the same thing at the same, same time. time. Wow. Now this is prophetic because this is just a few days before we came here. Mm -hmm. And so we dreamed the same thing at the same time. And so I don't believe it's by chance. And it's really some of the same dream that you've had. Now let me tell you something. God will put you in people that are in agreement with you. Hallelujah. When he when he gave us this, when our graphic designer designed this logo for the church, Apostle Reggie had said that he had already seen a vision and he didn't know what it was, but he knew that it was something that he would see again, okay? Then the second thing that happened was the same thing was suddenly. He had gotten suddenly, and so he was like this word suddenly about the same time we got it, and we didn't even know each other. <laughs> and so his wife says, she, you know, she called one day, she was like, you know, I think she left a message or something, and she said, we got to connect with y'all because Jesus. we know that there is something about this suddenly that God is doing, and God gave it to my husband, and so we are already had the same DNA. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. So God will yes. link you with like-minded people, yes, people that have the same frequency, that's yes. hearing the same thing at the same time. Yes. And I'm Hallelujah. telling you, even, even yes. as it was for him, he's been in some other seasons, in some other situations, in some other relationships where, where it caused heartache, it caused challenge, it caused storm, likewise on my end. But then here we go in a situation now God has literally brought us into a time of fulfillment. He's literally brought us into a time of yes. manifestation. Yes. Come on. Yes. And so I'm telling you, Woo. I'm not telling you something that I heard. I'm telling you something that we're living out and that we're walking in and that we're moving Hallelujah. in as a time of fulfillment, a time of manifestation, a time of the actual of the act, actual uh, re reception of the things that you've been believing God for. So I'm telling you, I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who we're ministering to today. I don't know who this is for today, but I yes. knew you Hallelujah. needed to be in Encouraged with the testimony that we have, mm -hmm. that we believe that we've been believing God for, we've been trusting Jesus. God for. Let me tell you something. When we first started our church, the first, like the first, uh, the first uh, six months. Come on, it, this was even before the this first six months when God gave me the vision, even for even for perfected love, which was what the old name of the church was. Yes. When He gave me that vision, He showed me multiple locations. Mm -hmm. And wow. so there are sometimes when you you can have these multiple locations. Let me tell you. Let, let me go here. 
a few years ago, I came to Charlotte to do a gladiator camp. When we were here, I was riding down the road, and I think I'd really almost gotten lost. And so I told my wife, I said, baby, I said, I could see us doing ministry in Charlotte. Wow. I said, I believe in the days to come, God is literally gonna, gonna, gonna release us and, and, and have us to do. I didn't know how God was gonna do it. I didn't know when God was gonna do it. But I know that when God makes me a promise, yes. every prophetic promise and everything he said yes. is gonna come yes. to pass and it's gonna happen. Yes. And so here we are, here we are uh, after the ninth year. Come on. After the ninth year, on August 24th, the ministry turned eight years old. So here we are in the ninth year, and God has literally caused an acceleration and a momentum that we're walking into the fullness of everything we promised. He promised you years ago that you were gonna that you're gonna move into a situation where you and your wife would be pastoring. Come on. Yes. And so here it is, here it is. I don't know how many years it is for you, but we've come into a place of, mm. of, of synergy. We've come into a place of the manifestation of the promises of God. Yes. And so yes. I'm believing God for great things. Momentum, yes. 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 Not just for us, but for you. Absolutely. Because if Absolutely. he did it for us, he's not a respecter of persons. Yes. So if God does it for me, it's encouragement to you mm -hmm. to know that he'll do it for you too. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you look like you're about to explode over there. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Um, you know, you said it was nine for you. It was 10 years for my wife and I. And, you know, the beauty of it is, is the longer God withholds his hand, the longer he... Uh, holds back the promise, the more deeper of an appreciation um, that we have. And I've learned over the years that, you know, we are to wait on God because his word will not return void. Whatever he spoke, whatever he said, it has to come to pass. And, and you know, God, has, he will put you, literally put you in a place where you say, you know what? Because I've been here before, God has shown me this before. I understand what it is to wait and to still to continue to believe. So don't doubt him. You know, it, it, it may take a long time or, what you know, in fact, God says that, you know, he, he's before time. He's in between time and he's after time. Mm. So God is not even restrained by time. It is for us. It's for our purposes. And, and the longer we wait, the, the more God withholds back his hand, the more and, and the deeper that we understand that he's teaching us how to trust him. Mm -hmm. Right. No, that's good. Right. He's teaching no, us that's how to good, trust him. man. And, and sometimes, you know, because again, we're in a society that's microwave, yes, and we really is. want everything now. Right. Absolutely, we, we right. want it suddenly. That's why suddenly has been so successful. We don't know how right. to wait on God. We don't know the, the understanding of a process and yes. what that looks like. You know, going right. through the process, being able to endure under pressure. You know, even as I was thinking about the synergy and the covenant relationship, <clears throat> it wasn't as though we were just coming in to help you. No, you've been a fulfillment in our life. We've been a fulfillment in your yes. life, and I so what we that. have, we we have together. It allows all of us to grow and yes. to advance together. That's right. And um, it, it's just been really, really amazing. We pour into you guys. You guys pour into us in different ways, and so it's just been, it's, it's just been, been God. Now, it's let me been tell God. you the fact that we're going to be in Little Rock for a Little Rock suddenly. And, you know, I'm from Little, I'm from Arkansas. Well, I'm from born in Chicago, but raised in Arkansas. And so it's a really a time of manifestation. Wow. This is a, this is a prophetic moment. Now we have never done ministry in Little Rock, never in the history of our ministry, in the history of doing ministry. We've really never done so for me, but I started my whole, my, everything I did in ministry, I started in a little Baptist church in a place called Oneida, Arkansas, which nobody knows where Oneida is. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's really small Wait. on the map. And so probably only about 50, 60 people that live in that little town. Come on, they don't, they don't, I don't even know if they got a stop sign now. It's probably them blew down. But I'm saying that to say God is literally bringing us full circle and bringing us back into a place of fulfillment. Mm -hmm. I'm going back and then I was on, we were on a, a scope, I think it was, or on a page, an apostle, uh, John had placed and, you know, posted, he said, these are the states that I've never been to, and Arkansas was on there. When he said that, I said, apostle, I said, if I, if, if, if we go to Arkansas, he said, do you want to go? He said, yeah, he said, if you're doing something, I've never been there, I'll go. And so now, apostle John is going to be with us in Arkansas. Come on. And so I'm seeing God bring us into places of fulfillment. Listen, if I were you, I would be excited because there is no telling what God is getting ready to do for you. Yes. There is no telling the, the fulfillment that he's getting ready yes. for you. There is no, no telling uh, the manifestation of the things that you've been believing in for that he's getting ready to bring to pass. Mm -hmm. Listen, some things you even forgot about, some things that you forgot that God promised you, God is getting ready to bring to manifestation. Jesus. Come on. I'm yes. telling you, when I saw that thing and I saw, yeah, somebody said new places and new things. Yes. When I saw the thing, even as it pertained 
uh, to, I've never even thought about that revelation before that in Joshua chapter one, that wasn't the first time that Joshua had his foot had stepped into the promised land. Wow. Come on. But because he believed God and yes. believed what God could do right. the first time that he went and he had a good report the first time yes. God lets him come back yes, full yes. circle to spirit. walk in and wow. see the manifestation of the promises of God for his life. Listen, I'm going to preach this thing real soon. <laughs> I'm going to preach this because I've never heard anybody talk about how the first time, come on, did you know what I said? He, this wasn't his first time mm -hmm. in the promised land. Wow. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm. I believe it's coming. Absolutely. I believe it's coming. And Absolutely. I believe for many of you that are watching, yes. it's getting ready to manifest. The thing you've been believing God Jesus. for is coming to pass. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. I was uh, looking at Lola. She was saying, I'm, th I'm thankful that you endured the process. Yes. We have to endure the process. Endure the we got to trust God. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. And so many of you uh, that have been connected to us, let me give you a few announcements. If you're in the Charlotte area, we want you to meet us here at Charlotte. Uh, if you're in the Tampa area, we want you to meet us in Tampa. If you're in Tallahassee, we want you to meet us in Tallahassee. Uh, we've got a few other cities that are coming online in January of uh, 2019 and a few more in August that are coming online as being connected. But I'm really believing God and seeing God do some amazing things. And uh, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm telling you, when I tell you, I remember, uh, I remember, oh God, I'm going to tell y'all my, my, a little of my testimony. And this is, <laughs> is going to make y'all laugh. I told the apostle, I said, our first service, I went to the bank <laughs> and I opened up a bank account when we did our first service. And so I opened up the bank account, check this out, and when I went to go make the first deposit, I think the deposit was $9. Mm -hmm. We had our first service in the living room. Mm -hmm. The first deposit was $9. <laughs> Listen to me. I walked to the bank to put my money in the bank from the church. Mm -hmm. You hear me? And so then when you guys were able to start the church, you didn't have to walk to the bank. Mm -mm. You didn't have to start it. The first major service in the living room. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to. August the 24th, I think it was 2009. Nine. And so here we are in the living room <laughs> with about 20 people sitting in the living room. Furniture moved. Chairs moved. And here we are in the living room. And so I'm saying that to say you didn't have to start in the living room. You actually started in a larger room. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. And Amen. people showed up. People we even know showed up, came, supported the meeting. And so I'm believing God for a great acceleration. I'm saying that concerning that again, it's a time of fulfillment for you too. Yes. You're yes. going to receive the manifestation and the inheritance. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I believe that there is a mantle that's being passed for the inheritance of Jesus. other generations that did Lord not receive God. the things. Oh my God. Hi. Somebody said $9. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was what it was. Yeah. Wow. That's what Man, I'm telling you. I can go back and show you that deposit. Yeah. Come on. Nine, 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 I didn't even see all of that. $9 in 2009, nine years ago. My God. Wow. And so nine years later, here we are in the ninth month. The on time the of finality. Day. Uh, yes, yeah. 2018. So you got nine, nine, double, quadruple nine. I'm believing God for your manif manifestation yes. of thing God uh, wants. Um, you know, I, I just believe in God for, for the people of God mm -hmm. to really, really perceive the manifestation of the things that, that they've been believing God for, they've been trusting God for, and they've been knowing that God is faithful to be able to receive. Amen? Amen. So you got to receive that. you got to trust God. you got to believe it. I'm still going to go back and look at this again because I didn't even think about that. I didn't even see all that. You know, and then nine is the number of birthing. It's the number, uh, it's, the, it's the month when the baby really comes forth. Yes. Although, you know, you've been believing for the God. Uh, uh, you've been believing God for the baby. You know, you've seen the... Um, um, uh, what's the thing called when they, you know, when the baby, when they go in and they see the baby on the screen? Yes, the, uh, the um, sonogram. The sonogram. Mm -hmm. So you look and you've seen the sonogram. You see what the baby looks like. You've seen it's a boy. You you had the gender reveal party. But now it's time for the manifestation. You know, you've seen the baby on the screen. Yes. You're like, my God, okay. I see all 10 toes. I see all 10 fingers. Looks like he got a little hair on his head. That's why I'm getting this heartburn. Oh, my God. This thing is the baby is coming forth. But when the baby really come forth, it's literally going to blow your mind. Amen. Right. Yes. Amen. So we love you guys. We bless you. We thank God for you. Every one of you, each and every one, uh, every each and every one of you that that's watching, everybody that's uh, that's been believing God and trusting God for things. We're excited about what God is getting ready to do in your life. Mm -hmm. I really believe it's a time of, of real prophetic fulfillment. A lot of times we say that, but I really believe it's a time of real, real, real prophetic fulfillment. And uh, and you you get me there. Somebody said I'm getting ready to give birth to my, my God given baby. Absolutely, yes. you are. So you got to stand yes. on that, believe in that, trust in God. Hallelujah. Know that He's faithful. Yeah. Know that He will not fail you. Birth you uh, in the spirit. That's right. Get ready to birth what you've conceived in the spirit. Did somebody say that, or you just said that? I just said it. You just said it. Praise the Lord. Well, that's why you keep a prophet around, man. <laughs> 
because they come up with stuff that uh, that just strong revelation. So listen, we love you all so much as well. Uh, let me say this: if if you uh, relationship issues things tomorrow night, we're gonna start season two of Pillow Talk. Some of you mm -hmm. seen the commercial, uh, and it's gonna it's gonna be an amazing time. I'm really excited about that. Uh, and then, you know, we have our new book out next month on the 16th. I thought it was the 18th. Now it's actually, they, they backed it. I mean, they, they pushed it forward. So the 16th of next month is actually going to be available. But you can go to Amazon now. For those of you who have the book, I'd love for you to go to Amazon and do a book review on it. Tell the people about uh, how much, you know, how the book has blessed you, what, what has impacted you. For those of you who have not gotten it from us at a meeting, then you can go to Amazon and you can, Amazon.com, you can buy the book. And then it's should be in like your Barnes and Nobles and all those places after next month. But I'm really, really excited about what God is doing in our lives. I'm excited about what he's doing in your life. And then next month, the 18th, 19th, and 20th, listen, I, I, I took a leap of faith. We've never been to Arkansas. And uh, Jojo Dawson, Apostle John Eckhart, Prophet Kyle Miller, my wife and I, and some of our sons and daughters will also be there as well to help minister uh, to you, prophesy to you, uh, to stand with you and believe God for you. If you live anywhere close to there, if you're in Texarkana, man, let your, let your friends know. Let, let people that you know know. Uh, if you... Um, uh, if you, if you, what was I going to say? If you have people uh, that are in uh, Dallas, let them know. It's only a few hours away. If you know people in other parts of Arkansas, let them know. If you know people in Southern Missouri, let them know. If you know people in Eastern Tennessee, let them know. Or, or West Tennessee, I'm sorry, not Eastern Tennessee, but Western Tennessee, <laughs> let them know as well. Because I really believe it's going to be a tremendous meeting. I believe there's a tremendous hunger in Arkansas for the glory yes. of God, for the power of God, oh, yes. for the gifts of God, for the manifestation of God. And I think it's really prophetic because it's a place he's never been to before mm -hmm. and I believe that there's going to be a major impact in that region when we all come together in that region yes. for the first time doing ministry. So I think, yes. really believe it's going to be significant. And uh, so at any rate, um, uh, and then, yep, I see my sister Michelle J. Miller came on. God bless you. We're so excited. I saw them get blessed yesterday by Apostle John at their service. And so yes. I'm really believing God for uh, even great acceleration for them and for their marriage and for all that God, you know, we, you know, we really love them. That's why we were able to go do the wedding. And uh, it wasn't just, I, I really counted that an honor because Michelle's just not the person that does arbitrarily does stuff. Right. She really has prayed about it and sought God. And so we really, really believe uh, that that was significant even for, for us. And um, so that was just, that was just huge. That was really huge. Mm -hmm. And um, I had another dream. I won't even tell y'all about it yet. I had a dream this morning and uh, it was a surprise that I'm, a, I'm a, something I'm going to do for my wife. She's like, uh-oh. Y'all see that look on her face? She's like, uh-oh. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I know it's something that's going to be uh, tremendous. And uh, But I got excited when I dreamed it. And so God's really been wicking in my dream life and uh, things. God. And um, so Praise I'm just excited. God. Listen, we love you guys. We're love getting ready guys. to get out of here. But make sure you join us uh, on um, tomorrow night for, at, uh, no, we, we, we put on the flyer at 9. So we have to do it. We have to do it at nine. I know she wanted to do it, change it to ten, but uh, on, and then on the video it's at nine. So we'll have to do it at nine, and um, and um, I think, but I think it's still going to be good, amen. And so I'm excited about what God is doing, and we love you, we bless you, and I think we're coming to Houston. We've got a couple other cities we're coming to before the end of the year. We're working on something in Trinidad, working on something in Houston, working on something in Curacao, mm -hmm. uh, Colombia, uh, and so again, just excited about what God is doing. Uh, and that's still a lot of work before the end of the year, but I really believe it's going to be amazing work. It's going to be tremendous, and uh, we bless you. We pray for the acceleration of God. We pray for the manifestation of every promise, every prophetic dream, every prophetic vision, everything you've been believing God for and trusting God for. We're believing it's going to come to pass in this season. Amen. Amen. You guys got anything Amen. else before we go? No, sir. Amen. I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited. Your testimonies uh, of what God is, is, is releasing in your life even now, even now on this day. And, uh, and so continue to rejoice in the Lord. And we love you guys. And we look forward to coming back again soon. God Amen. Uh, my daddy's girl, yes, you can travel with us anytime. Yes. And uh, and Candy, 7-7, uh, uh, seven, seven, yes, she was at the service. Uh, yes. And uh, from Trinidad. And so she's oh, excited no. for Trinidad. And uh, Daughter of the Lion, I need to, we need to find out. Maybe we can, uh, somebody said it feels like Christmas morning. Amen. <laughs> uh, we, well, do you know the 1-800 uh, the number for Charlotte by heart? Do you know it? I do not. You do not? And if your wife was here, I know she would know it yes. uh, by heart. Our wives always know this stuff by heart. Give them, give them our you, number. But you can get, um, go to um, call us at 
937-2653. Yeah, because was somebody said they wanted to see us before we leave Charlotte. 937-2653. Good. Well, listen, we're getting out of here. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. If you just came on, go back and watch the beginning of it. I really believe it's a tremendous Jesus. prophetic word. Uh, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys, Charlotte, Tampa, Tallahassee. Uh, I see our spiritual daughter Allison on here, her and her husband, Pastor, uh, the, the, ch the, the Contagious Church in Tallahassee. They're a tremendous uh, uh, ministry couple and doing some uh, tremendous things there in their city. And so I'm really, 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 really looking forward to uh, just seeing expansion and growth in all of our campuses and even the campuses that have come. And then we have our Contagious Connection, which are other spiritual sons and daughters that, that have connected with us and friends that we've had relationship with that don't have Contagious Churches. But we also cover them and, and help them and just, uh, you know, we don't use that word uh, loosely. We, you know, we really mean that. When we say we have relationship, we really have relationship yes. and uh, want to see each other prosper and see each other be blessed. So at any rate, we love you. We bless you. Yeah, Pillow Talk is coming back tomorrow night. <laughs> Six episodes, I think, or, or seven uh, uh, of this season. I don't know how many <laughs> it's going to be, but we're going to give you everything we got. Yes. Oh, we're going to give you everything we got and we're going to get out of here. Good. Amen. Gonna we love good. you. Love you, God. God bless you. Bless you guys. Bye -bye. Somebody said they can't tell their daughter about that. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs>